Hello, Portland, Oregon. Drew Coleman here, principal broker of the Drew Coleman team at Hassan Company Realtors. We're here to provide our new monthly market update to break down what happened in August 2017 for you. There's been a big end of summer flurry for our team in the latter part of August, bleeding into September. So let's see what happened for the rest of the Rose City. As always, we're going to keep this brief. The Portland metro area's average sales price is actually down 2.1% from $517,257 in July to $506,515. However, when you compare that average to what it was last year in August, average closing price is up 7.5%. While the national average for August is not out yet, in July we know that it increased 0.3%. So we also saw a 4.3% decrease in new listings for July, but a 6.6% increase in homes sold for the same period. When you compare those numbers to what I was looking at a year back, which was August of 2016, there are 1.7% fewer new listings. However, closed sales have increased by 3.7%. Locally, inventory held steady 2.5 months for us nationally. This is the kind of the bad news nationally. Average inventory jumped from three months all the way up to 5.7 months. We are seeing some inventory around the country coming onto the market. But again, it's a little harder to compare since there's a one month delay for the national figures. The most active region was Milwaukee and Clackamas with 316 new listings. However, Southeast Portland this time leading the way with the most homes closed, 245 of those bad boys. That's it for the month. Check back next time. And until then, visit drewcoleman.com if you have any questions for our local real estate team. Thank you for watching. I'm Drew Coleman. Have a great month. Thank you.